because he's a man who values freedom and your freedoms in the US of A are getting shrunk by the day. Now, because Monty's a man who likes to have a bit of fun, it's possible when he deals with serious subjects, people don't take it that seriously. But you've got to pay attention. This shit is real. The latest travesty I've heard of is how the Department of Homeland Security is going to introduce what amounts to an internal passport. This will be a photo ID that you will need to access any federal services. So what does that mean? It means you don't get on a plane unless you have one of these photo IDs. Not all that surprising, but pretty useless. You won't be able to enter a federal building without one of these cards. Now you might say that sounds like a reasonable security procedure. But the only significant attack on a federal building was perpetrated by a white American, Timothy McVeigh, who would have had one of the IDs, and he never entered the building anyway to detonate his bomb. So it's pretty damn useless. You will need one of these cards to enter a nuclear facility. But hey, how many of us ever do that? But get this, you will need an internal photo ID to have a picnic in a national park. Now, forget that the cost for this program has been estimated at $40 billion, which will be paid for by new taxes on you. Forget the fact that all this information is going to be in a massive database, which is going to be just a horrible invasion of privacy and a risk for the security of your personal data. These motherfuckers want you to present an ID before you can have a picnic with your family. What the fuck is going on? I gotta ask America, what is it going to take? Your economic system's crumbling, your civil liberties are being crushed with things like warrantless wiretapping, people being incarcerated without charge, let alone without trial, and now you're gonna have to carry a photo ID with you all the time. Why are you not rioting in the streets? What is it going to take? Follow the link for the full horrible story. If you're a US citizen, you can't afford to sit back and ignore this. It's really the news. It's really the truth.